Hello everybody, this is Zara Sagoshuba speaking, the founder and the author of Iconic Scalping Specialist. I know it's been a while that, that we have met here. It's been very, very, very long time, but I gave you guys content. But today, I just decided to give you something very powerful. Of course, yes, my content is aimed in improving people's skill when it comes to trading. So let's get started, guys, with today's content. So what basically I want us to deal with today is on how to analyze the market using a bigger time frame. And this is how I do it myself. This is how I do analyze the market on, under the four hour time frame and also execute my trades under the same time frame. So what I use is that I use the four hour time frame to trade all the time. This is what I strictly try about the things to stick to. And obviously as a trader, I have some of the principles that guide me to become or to remain um, profitable on the market all the time. That is to say, some of the rules that I have to follow is the trend line rule, the break of structure, imbalance rule, uh, the two iconic candlestick formation. So in this case, um, we are going to deal with some of the candlesticks that I personally use. I've never learned them from anyone, but I just came up with the um, with ways in which I can always play around with the market whenever I get to see certain candlesticks and get to execute trades from. And also we are going to cover uh, some part of the principle that also has to deal with the other blocks. But I'm not going to dwell much more on those because I, I know that uh, the other block information or content is everywhere. You go on TikTok, you go on YouTube, everyone has videos on other blocks. Amen? So this is how I do it myself. Whenever I'm on the market, I'll just open my chart. Let's say I open VIX or crash or boom. In fact, on this video, the strategy that I'm sharing right now on how to analyze the market can actually apply to any instrument of your choice. Either VIX, either boom, either currencies, whatever instrument that you want to deal with, right? So let's say I'm on VIX 25. VIX25, here I am. I'm, on, I'm under four hour time frame. Obviously, when I'm uh, under four hour time frame, one thing that I have to start with is to draw my trend lines. How do I draw my trend line? Guys, it is very important to understand how to draw the trend line on the market. I hope you all know that for the trend line to be valid on the market whenever you're trading, the market has to touch your trend line how many times? Two or more times, right? For the market to be what? For the market to uh, for the trend line to be valid, sorry. For the trend line to be valid, the market has to touch it how many times? Two or more times. Like this. Yeah? In this case, what we see here right now is that the market has touched how many the, the, the trend line how many times? Two times, right? So from here, when the market is like this, let's assume that the yellow lines represent the market and then the, uh, the pink dotted line here represents the trend line, right? So when the market is moving like that, you get to realize that the market has touched that trend line how many times? One, two, and then on the third touch, that is where most of the time we're going to be trying to focus much more on and try to take our trades from, depending on what we are looking for. Either a breakout or, or a bounce back, right? That is what we are mostly going to be trying to focus much more on. So basically what I want you to understand is that the market is only going to respect your trend line only if the market had touched it how many times? Two or more times. That is one, two. And then maybe on the third touch, that's where we are going to be trying to dwell much more on trying to see where to take your trades from and with what type of trade you want to take as in a buy or a sell, right? So this is where we are ex exactly going to be trying to, to focus from. That is why I had to show you that most of the time when I trade, I trouble the things to follow the trend line rule, right? So remember also that the trend lines, they do differ. Trend lines do differ. We have the uptrend line. We ha have the downtrend line, right? <coughs> For the sake of those who are still new in the game, we have something like this. So this one, most of the time we are going to be trying to look out for trades which are which are, which are buy trades and then this one most of the time we're just going to be trying to execute sell trades using this trend line 
So with that all being said, let's now move on to the next uh, step that whenever you are trading, you need to, to look out for. All right, there is this thing called the uh, breakout, the, the, the market, uh, market breakout structure. But uh, for now, let's just skip it and talk about the imbalance on the market. So what are we saying or what do we really mean when we say there's an imbalance in the market? I want you to take note of this and trouble it means to, 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 to also write this down because this is going to be very important for you when you are on your own trading on your own because ever since I learned this myself as well, I have been so profitable on the market like never before. The only difference is that most people who trade the, the gaps they will try to do what they will try to identify candlesticks which did not oppose each other what do i mean if you can take a look at this um candlestick uh, these candlesticks which came out just after this one you realize that these candlesticks that were out here the market was issuing out what we call the bullish candlesticks meaning that there was no bearish candlestick from here until this point so in other words most of the time whenever i get to see that kind of structure on the market what do i do i would just go onto the market and identify that area like that and what i want you to also take note of is that most of the time not all the time most of the time whenever there is a market gap like this if i have identified this most of the time i would be very much more sure that the market most of the time it will come back and clear off this gap right there that is why after the market moved uh, up there it had to come away it had to come back down there just to clear this out and then after it cleared everything out that's when the market started now taking any direction that it wanted to to head on now there are several gaps that we can actually talk about but i don't want to dwell much more on to unnecessary details for today as you can see here we also had um couple of um, candlesticks which actually gave us a gap so if we could have had this and by the time when we analyze in the market maybe we were here and then this candlestick would have not been there we would have said okay fine the market might as well come back and clear off this gap now i'll show you on how to trade those gaps yeah? in relation to to trend lines to trend lines because obviously we are going to need or have a backup which can actually guarantee us the the profitability of the setup that you are looking at yeah? those are the gaps that we're talking about when we say there's a market gap or there's an imbalance on the market this is what we really mean every time when we're, we're trading together right and we, we might as well try to to count a couple of those uh, movements that we had on the market there uh, as you can see here we had a very drastic move from top there till this area here and we also had another one right here where the market was moving down drastically like that so we basically had several um, gaps on the market there right as you can see the gap was from there this first one it just came all the way from this point right here let me just try to to take down this a little bit try to reduce the okay fine so as you can see this is where the gap began and this is where it got completed or got covered from this point here to this point here that is when, when the market wanted to go up and clear off this gap the market had to do what the market had to rise and go up there until this gap was closed or this imbalance was cleared right even here when the market broke out um it had to clear off this gap right there now enough with the with the gap we want to understand on how we can actually execute trades when we have identified something of this kind of the market right let's move on to something else now let's talk about the two coin uh, candlestick formation on the market now what we what do we mean when we talk about the two iconic candlesticks on the market now i am going to show you something here right i'm going to show you something here when we talk about the two candlesticks formation 
would obviously have something of this kind. Okay, fine. Let me just change the color so that when I present this to you, it might come out very clear to you so that you don't get confused at all. At all. So we are on the market. And as we are on the market, we have a candlestick which is much more like this, right? Just ignore the fact that I'm using uh, those arrows there. Just know that what I'm trying, uh, what I'm drawing right now, represent a candlestick, right? Now we are on the market, and as we are on the market like this, most of the time we would want to identify candlesticks which their bodies ended on the same level right if we are trying to identify if we are going to try to identify uh, if we can execute a sell trade or a buy trade we are going to have to deal with the bodies of the candlestick right so right now i drew a bullish candlestick and a bearish candlestick right so what we have to also do there is that whenever we are on the market and we get to see something of this kind we have to look at the the bodies of these two candlesticks right uh, where their bodies end and where their bodies begin either at the top side or at the bottom side at the top side or at the bottom side now we have something of this kind on the market as we have something of this kind on the market what we have to focus on is why do we want to get such kind of candlesticks on the market now listen this is going to be the most crucial point in this video that you don't want to miss so we are on the market right so when we are on the market one thing that we want to look out for is that there's two candlesticks when we are looking at the the, the opportunities either to sell or or to buy would have a bullish candlestick and a bearish candlestick they are bodies right now where they are right now they are at the bottom right now yeah at the bottom of these two candlesticks that is where we are going to extract much more information on what we are expected to have on the market or how the market is going to move so in most cases when the market gives me such kind of candlestick like this right i want you to see this most of the time if the market break out of this area if the market breaks out of this area what will happen is that um, the market would go down for a very long time. Yeah? If the market decides to break this area, because automatically where the candlestick bodies end, this place represents what we call this place represents what we call a strong support, right? This is what we call a strong support. Strong. strong support okay right there just like that this area represents a strong support so obviously when we are on the market if the market is not support is not able to to go up there and the market decide to do what and the market decide to to break down going there we obviously know that this area right here this area right here turns out to become a what? It turns out to become a very strong resistance. This is where most of the time we are going to be executing our sell trades from. And more especially when the market can go back there. We obviously know that when the market has ga had gave you two candlesticks which their bodies ended in th on the very same level right, like that, we know that it's going to be very hard for the market to penetrate up there. Yeah? Going up there. So what we are going to see most of the time is that the market will just go back there and then continuously do what? And then continuously go down there, right? If it doesn't go back there, then it will go just like that going down, right? And the other thing that I want you to also take note of is that <laughs> when you are dealing with these two candlesticks, I want you to also look at the tail or the spikes or the wicks of the candlesticks, right? Whenever you are on the market and then the market issues out two candlesticks, which is a bearish and a, a bullish candlestick like this one, and then it happens that it happens that um, this candlestick, which is before the bullish candlestick, those one, the red one, yeah, if its tail is bigger than if, if this tail is bigger than the one on the right, 
then we obviously know that this area, most of the time, most of the time when it's like this, yeah? I want you to show you, to show you something like this. Most of the time when it's like this, it actually represents what we call what we call a, uh, a, 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 an obvious breakout movement. Why? This is it. This is one thing that I want you to see. Whenever I get to see something of this kind on the market, yeah, what I will do is that I will come onto the chart or on my charts and exactly where this happened, whereby this candlestick which is on the left had a bigger tail than this one and also their bogies ended on the same level. I would come on the market and then I will mark this area as a what? As what we call the, the obvious breakout movement. Why am I calling this area a, a free, uh, an obvious breakout movement? The reason why I am calling it a, an obvious breakout movement is that most of the time if it happens that the market breaks out of the zone, it will break massively or it will go down on a higher speed yeah? the market will go down like that and most of the time when it's like this when it's like this when this candlestick which is on the left has a bigger tail than this one on the right which is the bullish candlestick whenever the market gives you something of that kind most of the time i am very much sure that there is no how the market is going to bounce and go back most of the time what I know is that the market is going to break out, out of that area and if the market decides to come back, it is just only going to come back and do what? And then continuously do what? Continuously go down. That is what the market is always going to do all the time. And then continuously do what? Go down. Now, let's go on to the real charts and let me show you what I'm talking about. This is it. I want us to get into the real charts. And as we get into the video chats, guys, I don't want you to forget this. Please take a picture of what I just drew so that whenever we get into the real chats, you can get to see what I was talking about and you get to get, uh, uh, try to also spot the same things on your own even after this video. This is it, guys. This is it, guys. I'm teaching you everything that I can because I know that most people can't teach you these things, guys. Uh, I want you to see this. Let's go to the real charts. Let's go to the real charts. Now, this is the real charts, guys. This is the real charts. This is the real charts. These are the real charts. Now, look at this. This is what I was talking about when I said uh, I have um, an obvious breakout movement expectation. Look at this. This candlestick which is on the left represent a bearish candlestick and then this one on the right represent a, bu a bullish candlestick. That is why when I got to realize that there was this opportunity on the market, I could have just came here and underlined this point here. Meaning that when the market was still moving from up there, I knew that if the market come to that zone, the market would come and break the zone. Once the market breaks the zone, even if the market can try to go back up there, it is going to be very difficult for the market to do what? For the market to go up again, right? So when the market issued out this kind of candlestick formation right here, after it broke out of this area, after this candlestick, this one uh, for our time frame candlestick right here, if the market could have showed me something of this kind, I would have executed my trade away immediately after this candlestick closed, right? And most of the time, I want you to, 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 to get to pick this thing. Whenever you are dealing with them, whenever you are dealing with the, the, the two candlestick formation that I'm talking about, I want you to note that most of the time, whenever the market breaks out of the zone, because we say, we are saying, we're basically saying, this is a, an obvious breakout movement. What we are saying is that whenever the market comes and breaks out of the zone, it has to break with a big movement. That is when we will be 80% sure that the market is not going to go back up. Most of the time, if the market reduces speed towards that area, just know that the market is going to do what? The market is going to reverse most of the time, not all the time. Most of the time, when the market reduces the speed once it gets here, then the, it, it's obvious that the market is going to pull up. But most of the time, when it goes aggressively down there, we know that they know how the market can go back and then break up and go back again. Uh, uh, that's not gonna happen at all, at all. Look at this. Look at this, guys. We had the same thing right here, right? We have these two candlesticks right there, right? 
we have the bullish candlestick the, the, the bearish candlestick here we have the bullish candlestick right here right now if I had something of this kind on the market I would have just drew this and then highlighted this as a what as a bullish can uh, as a an obvious breakout movement as an obvious breakout movement right I'll just write obvious breakout movement was expected there, right? The obvious breakout movement was expected there. That is why when the market broke out of this area, the market actually continuously go down, right? Now, we have dealt with the two candlestick formation, which also uh, took us to having to talk about uh, what we call the obvious breakout movement obvious breakout movement where we had to draw those boxes right or those rectangles now the other thing that we have to also talk about is the order block but please do allow me not to talk about the order block formation on this video and also and also please do allow me not to talk about uh, the market structure break of structure on this video because if I can talk about them then we are not going to complete what we wanted to actually cover on this video now for now we are going to be basically dealing with the what for our time frame uh, the trend line rule the imbalance the two candlestick formation and the, the obvious breakout movement this is part one of this video now now let's go back to the chart and let's try to combine everything that I've been talking about on this video so far so that this video does not get to be very lengthy. Now, we are on the market. So let's say I was on the market right there, right? And then it happens that I get to open my four hour time frame. After opening my four hour time frame, the first thing that I get to pick is the, the trend line. So when I draw the trend line, I would have just uh, made sure that it passed through there. First touch, and then the second touch. First touch, and then the second touch. And the other thing guys that we are going to deal with is how the market breaks out of the the trend line i want you to get to see this now the market touched the market the, the trend line how many times one and then we had another another touch right there that that was two and then look at this when the market broke out of the trend line what happened what happened is that the market broke out and we had the two iconic candlesticks again let me draw them now in in favor of those who are going to be trading trying to look out for buy opportunities because uh, on the previous one the one that i just drew here um, this ones this ones were actually for 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 sell opportunity but for for those who are going to be trying to execute the buy trades you are going to obviously find something like this on the market obviously going to find something like this probably in this one i don't want to draw much more on um the, the the spikes or the weeks of those candlesticks i uh, i've decided to be very slow on this video why because i want everyone to grasp as much as they can so that by the time you trade on your own you get to also understand on how to do things right Look at this. So we have this this thing here, right? We have these two candlesticks, a bullish and a bullish candlestick, right? And they are both at the top there where they end, right? If you can pay attention, you realize that they are both end on the very, very same level. So when they are like this, what is it that we are most interested on? The most important important thing that we are interested on right now is uh, to understand that they are bodies where they end right there they represent the what they represent a resistance obviously where these two bodies meet or are or get to be on the very same level we get to say okay fine those bodies they are on the what it doesn't matter if the, the tail of this candlestick on the left is going to be bigger than the one on the on the right it, it just depends guys it just depends sometimes it might just be like this 
right? Sometimes it might be small and then this one gets to be big, so it doesn't really matter. Now, what we want to actually try to cover right here is that when the market comes, now let's say the market is coming from down there, it's going up, yeah? it's going up. Now, whenever the market get to break this level, most of the time, guys, most of the time, the market is not going to come back and then go down there easily, no. Because this on its own represent a what? This on its own represent a resistance. And therefore, when the market breaks a resistance, a strong resistance going up, then it comes back to that same level. We say now, the market has now reached what? The market has formed a strong support. Whereby, when the market comes back from the top there, going down, it will be forced to do what? It will be forced to, to go up all the time, right? That's how the market will always behave all the time. And obviously, guys, we also have to now go back to the same thing that we've just covered right there when we were talking about the obvious breakout movement. Now, whenever we get to realize that this candlestick, which is on the left, that is the bearish candlestick, if it had its tail or its wick be much more lengthier than the one on the right, that is the bullish one, then obviously we mark this area as the what? We would mark this area would mark this area as would mark this area as a, a, a an obvious breakout movement uh, zone. Would mark it as a would then mark it as a as an obvious breakout movement zone. Whereby if the market just breaks out of this zone, the zone having the market moving very fast towards that, that level there then it would obviously know that it's going to be very difficult for the market to come back and break the zone and then go back down right now let's take everything now and get to see what i really mean on the real charts on the live market yeah? now we are still on the forward time frame remember all our trades we are going to be executing them on the forward time frame we are looking for opportunities on the four-hour time frame. Our trades are going to be executed looking at the four-hour time frame, right? There is no point in time where we are going to be looking at um, a smaller time frame. No, 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 no. Because the same thing that I'm teaching you right now, this is the same thing that I always do, right? Look at this touch right there. This is big set. Look at this touch right there. I did execute this trade because I wanted to, to show or demonstrate with um, real charts. Yeah? Look at this thing. This is a real, this is a real account, by the way. Uh, then look at this. There's a touch there. There's a touch there. And the market broke out of the trend line right there, right? Then I had to do what? I had to place my cell right there. And then the market uh, continued uh, going to the trend line, touching the trend line, right? But what I know is that despite the fact that right now the market is still trying to consolidate with me, I just know that from this touch right there and this touch right there, yeah. What I know is that the market, if it can do what this, because we have identified a free or an obvious breakout of opportunity right there. If the market can just break out of the zone right here, if the market can just break out here, then I would know that obviously for the next few days the market is gonna be moving down. The market is gonna be moving up until this point right there. Up until this point. So obviously, when you draw the trend line, most of the time you might you might say, okay, fine, where the market touched the trend line for the first time, that's where my TP is always going to be aimed to, right, all the time. But sometimes, obviously, you might want to close your trade before the market can even reverse with you. I'm not saying you can. Uh, always try about it means to to try to hold until the market goes to where you you had marked no 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 i want you to look at this this was a what this was a uh, 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 this was a an opportunity where i am saying should the market just give me something of this kind obvious breakout movement right there then i would obviously know that the market is gonna go down for a very long time. The market is gonna go down for a very long time. Pay attention to this. Even after I record this video, 
go back and try to get to see on the very same day that is like 23rd november get to see what really happened even uh even if the market can try to reverse just try to check what happened under this 10 under four hour time frame right so let's just go back to where we began i think that was this 25 this 25 yeah this 25 let's analyze the market from scratch from scratch or even if we take this 50 let's analyze the market from scratch we open our charts under for our time frame as we open our charts from our time frame the first thing that we do is to do what to do our trend line right to do our trend line market has touched the trend line one two and then we go back one two three two or more times remember two or more times and then look at this guys we have this is right there we have these two candlesticks which their bodies end on the same level now whenever you get to see something of this kind always mark these two candlesticks right in this case this is not an obvious breakout movement opportunity right there no it's not okay and also i want you to know that once the market gives you something of this kind almost by the the trend line there you can always do what you can always execute your trades right there right if the market closes having broke out of this area here what am i going to do i am going to execute my trades why because obviously we have that we have learned that if the market goes to any area where we had the iconic candlesticks then there's high opportunity that the market will do what the market will pay us yeah so first take profit will be where first take profit will be here or will be where the market test the trend line for the first time either here or here now let's try to also identify if there were possibilities of uh, bu uh bullish candlestick i mean okay fine uh the order blocks okay fine right here i can tell that there is going to be an opportunity where the market might issue out the um, obvious breakout movement now when i get whenever i get to see something of this kind what do i do I always try my big means to mark out those kind of zones where I'm anticipating that should the market try anything funny there, then I am actually going to be happy. Why? Because should the market come back or come to this point right there, right? If the market can shoot there, uh, down there, with an aggressive movement, then once the market reaches that point, I am very much more sure that the market would just break this area and then probably after breaking this area what will happen is that what will happen is that what will happen is that the market after breaking that zone would actually want to go back right there right this is what what's gonna happen the market would want to go back right there because these two candlesticks remember i spoke about those two candlesticks that if their bodies are on the same level like they are right here like they are right here then, then the market will do what the market obviously not want to go down i mean to go back but rather would want to go down as you can see right there should the market go down there this is, this is what will happen the market will go and shoot down right there this is my expectation should the market continuously move down but also remember don't forget this area that we said after this candlestick closes this for our time frame candlestick close, we can obviously go in and start placing our trades right immediately if it closes below this area that i just marked because the market just broke out of the, the, the trend line for for uh, for us to be very much sure that the market is not going to go back there we are assured by these two candlesticks right there that now that the market has broke those those two candlesticks then it will be time for us to do what to execute our sell trades and hold maybe until this area right there this is going to be our take profit one and obviously take profit to around this level here okay now let's continue analyzing the market so right here right here look at this the market uh, had issued out what trend line like this 
or he would have touched the trend line like this. Yeah? The trend line like this. Look at this. We had what we call a W formation right there. A W formation right there. But even apart from the W formation, I want you to see there. There was what we call uh, an obvious breakout movement. Why? Because this candlestick, which is this side, had a tail which was a little bit longer than the other one, which was on the on the on the right, which is the bearish candlestick. Now, if whenever we get to see something of this kind, guys, and then it there was a break out of the zone here, we obviously know that the, the breakout. Look at this. In fact, we had we had two two breakout opportunities there. Obvious breakout opportunities. We had this one, and we also had this one right there, right, right there. So after the market broke out of this 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 area right there, I could have just executed my buy trick, even though the market might have wanted to try to retrace with me. But then I would have just knew that okay, fine, my t my my stop loss maybe will probably be down there or somewhere around here if I don't want to risk too much. Look at this. The market wanted to go down, but obviously because the market this candlestick closed above this level or this line where these two candlestick bodies or the their head ended at then i'll do what i would execute my buy trade there and then the market goes then that's my then that's my 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 my, my first take profit would be right there if i'm scalping remember this is for our time frame guys it is not this is not one minute time frame so just this movement from here to here they gave you a whole lot of money there you have just gave you a whole lot of money look at this so my first take profit has been hit i can also go for my my second take profit which is where the market touched the trend line for the first time and then the market gives me what i want and then it reverses before it can continuously go up right the breakout movement guys look at those breakout movements the obvious breakout movement and try to learn something from it let's continue analyzing the market you have your market like this again you're on the chart and then you get to realize okay fine i can draw my trend line like this and look at this whenever the market breaks out of the trend line try to spot out something very unique there right try to always spot out something very unique the market breaks out and every time i want you to know that every time whenever the market breaks out of uh whatever time frame trend line that you would have used try to also calculate the distance the market when it broke out of this uh, candlestick i mean i mean the trend line there the market had not reduced the pace that it was using when it started moving from there right from the bottom there and also try to also check for the the shapes or the market formation that the market tried to issue out for you to be able to execute trade so in this in this scenario we had a w formation and we knew that the market had to do what had to go up, the, up there for you to be what for the w formation to be completed so immediately after the market broke out here would have executed our buy trade why because the market had what the market had broke out of the trend line right but this one would have been a risky a risky one much more that we did not have uh, any gap right there we did not have any gap right there and also we did not have um any obvious breakout uh highlight or indicate indication there right when the market just broke we did not have any candlestick that we could have actually depended on and it's like if I we have our backup, the market would go up. Look at this. Look at this. This is for buy opportunity, right? Let's deal with the buy opportunity for now. Buy opportunity, right? Let me just try to clear out this other line so that my chart get to be very clear for everyone to understand. You're on the market, right? You draw your trend line even from here to here or even from here to here right now the first thing that you get to understand or pick there is that there were these two candlesticks right the market touched the trend line how many times one two so whenever the market breaks the trend line going up because this is a downtrend line if the market breaks this trend line going up what are we expecting from the market we are expecting that the market would do what the market would go by right 
So in this case, we identify these two candlesticks. And upon identifying these two candlesticks that we are talking about, the iconic candlesticks, we also, uh, we also get to learn that there was what we call the obvious breakout opportunity there. Why? Because this candlestick on the left had a tail which was bigger than the one that is on the left, which is the bull, which is the bench candlestick, right? So when it's like that, what do we do? We just identify that zone there. And remember what I said about the obvious breakout movement. What I said is that the obvious breakout movement, obvious breakout movement, what I said about the obvious breakout movement is that most of the time, if the market decides to break out of that, la la that level, it is going to be very, 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 very hard for the market to do what? For the market to get to reverse and then go down there. That is why when the market break out, broke out of this level right there, even if you could have executed your buy trade right there, and then wait for your take profit if it was there. The market would still have paid you. Look at this. All right, for me, I would have long got into the, the, the market or executed my trades here. Why? Because when the market broke out of this trend line, it broke aggressively. Look at the length of this candlestick. It was very lengthy. And when the market was just from the bottom there, the market was moving very fast towards that trend line and then it broke out of that trend line. And then immediately when it broke, I would have just placed my buy trades my buy trade there and then uh, another confirmation would have been here and i would have placed much more trades right there why because i knew that if the market even goes down there it would not be able to go down easily why because i am focusing much more on getting my take profit right there and the market gave me an obvious breakout movement meaning that this area should the market break it going up this area automatically becomes a what this area automatically becomes what we call a strong becomes a strong support obviously a strong support obviously in other words what we mean by obvious breakout movement is that when if we are looking at the market which is going up and the market get to break that level that level becomes the what the strong support obviously this is the strong support level guys okay we are talking about the buying opportunity now Let's try to look for another opportunity. Look at this. You have this thing here. And then you draw your trend line like that. Draw your trend line like that. Then the market breaks out of the trend line. Look, the market broke out of the trend line aggressively. It did, it did not give you small candlestick right there, right? So you just mark that area. In this case, there was no what we call the, 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 the obvious breakout movement. So when we trade on this kind of area, we get to be very careful. When we execute our buy trades, we get to be very careful. So even if I place my buy trade right there because the market has broke out of the trend line aggressively, I would have still got something there. But the ones that I want you to always trust are those that um, had to move because of the obvious breakout movement, right? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Now. Here it is again, once again, once again. We had something of this kind right there. The market touched the trend line how many times? One, two. And then when the market broke out of the trend line, look at what happened. The market broke aggressively. And then when it broke aggressively, we had a what? We already had a gap here, right? Remember when I spoke about the market gaps, ne? we already had some couple of gaps here, right? So the market had to do what? The market had to go back to the top there. Why? Because we had um, market gaps which were waiting for us to get fulfilled and to be closed, right? So once the market breaks out of this area, I am very much more sure that the market would have to do what? The market would probably have to go up and close that gap right there. So my buy trade, even if I place it, I know that gap. It closes this, this gap completely and also has to hit my first take profit right because of the trend line. Let me try to look for opportunities, buy opportunities where we had a very aggressive movement or we had a gap on, right? We had a gap on. Opportunities where we had a gap on. Now, this is it, this is it guys, this is it, this is it. Look at this. We had so many market gaps here. Ne? 
let me uh, maybe let me let me do this let me do this um, change here okay fine guys if you can try to look at this area from this point here okay fine from this point here going down there we had what we call we had what we call the market gap as you can see there was no bullish candlestick in this area right there so we had to mark it why because we know that next time when the market comes back to that area the market would have to feel that area before it can change direction right before it can change direction so when it's like this what do i do i just go and then i do what i write I would write gap just like that i'll just write gp just like that knowing that the market has to come back and fill this area this area from here to here the market has to fill it why because of that gap there and also we had another gap right there can you see this can you see this guys we had another gap right there so obviously when the market gives you something of this kind we are pretty much sure that we are going to get something from the market so when the market issued out a certain movement when i was trading i would have been very much more sure that the market is obviously going to give me what i want and look at this and also try to pay attention to the way i draw my trend lines look at this the market touched the, the trend line how many times one two right and then after the market broke out of the trend line look at this this area right there it wasn't it did not actually give me um an obvious breakout movement right so i just had to look at those two candlesticks these ones right these ones these candlesticks these two candlesticks they are the ones that actually clarified everything for me so after i break i just placed my buy then i kept on holding knowing that should the market go below this area that i've just marked that's when i'll be able to close my trade so the market just kept on going did not also break down the, the trend line so when it kept on going then after the closure of this candlestick i knew that the market was obviously going to go up look at this i had my my first target here and then i had another target right there because of the market gap and then i had another one up there so what do i do in this case i continue placing much more trades why because i can also draw another trend line like this and then look at this when the market broke the trend line it broke it with a bigger candlestick then i continue placing more trades why because the market kept on giving me such kind of uh, candlestick and also try to not forget these two candlesticks see what what those candlesticks can do on on the market there we go the market breaks out of that zone again remember the market had already long broke uh, out of the trend line as well so you keep on executing much more buy trades and then the market goes it, it, it touches the, the the level that you long wanted to, to touch at and then it goes and then it goes and then it touches again and then it slightly try to retrace and then touches look at this you've already got what you wanted on the market you can easily go out now you don't need to take everything guys on the market no 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 don't be greedy this thing guys also apply on any instrument that you can think of on any instrument now we are done with vix 15 eh? let's try to also demonstrate something new with maybe um vix 75 those, those are some of the instruments that i want you to always check and look at but also let's go back to our vix 10 and see what's happening there you see we are moving 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 this is vix 10 guys this is vix 10 as you see uh, as you can look uh, as you can see uh the movement that we are trying to get there it's really promising it's really promising it's really promising this is a real account as you can see guys i'm demonstrating this on real account small lot size of course yes because of demonstration purposes this does work guys it does work very well now we're just waiting to see if the market will be able to break out of the zone freely but the way it does things right now it just giving me the vibes that because the market is moving aggressively now probably the market will close right at least a little bit below here that's when i'll be able to understand and believe that the market is going to go down there so yeah so let's check with other instruments guys let's check with other instruments for our time frame what are you saying this is boom 1000 yeah? 
Puma 1000, same thing, same thing, guys. There's nothing that's going to be different whenever we are trading, right? Puma 1000, most of the time when I trade, I just want to catch spikes because hey, trading again in spikes sometimes can be a, can be very tricky. I would rather want to catch spikes more than any other thing. You see? No, but this, this, uh, this, the, the way the market was moving here was very boring. Let's, let's, let's try to scout out something very interesting and tricky, right? So that you can also get to get to see on how best you can always analyze the market. Let's just not analyze it when it was rising because that one is going to be very obvious. All right, these are some of the most important movements that you shouldn't, you shouldn't actually get to lose on the market. Now, look at this. Right there, right there, right there. That's an, what? That's an obvious breakout movement indication there, right? An indication of an obvious what? Obvious breakout movement. This is exactly what I said. Look at these two candlesticks, guys. These two candlesticks, guys. You see them? These two candlesticks. These two candlesticks. They represent the what? The iconic candlesticks formation, the one that we're just talking about. And look at this, guys. Immediately, <laughs> this is what I could have done on the market. I would have just at least marked them and also draw a trend line. Look at this. Maybe draw a trend line like this, something like this. And look at this. The market, when it broke out of the, um, the trend line, it moved aggressively. Or I would have just drew my trend line like this. It just depends on what I actually want. Right? I would have just marked them like that. Then look at this. When the market broke out of the trend line, look at what it had, you know, what, what it did. I would have just placed my buy trade probably right there. Or wait for the market to do what? For, for it to, to retrace. Look at what was happening right there. This is the odd. This is where I did label saying this is the what? Breakout movement opportunity or breakout movement area this place right there and look at what happened after the market breaks out of the trend line i execute my trades i did not go to one hour or 15 minute time frame or five minute or one minute time frame to check if i can ex uh, execute my buy trades of course yes guys sometimes you can do that but with this strategy what what i always do myself i don't need any backup from other time frames i know it's very good guys to have a backup from other time frames i know that the people who are going to say ah that guy said we shouldn't check with other time frames sometimes guys it's very important to do that that this strategy that i've always been using guys most of the time i don't even get to worry what other time frames are saying and what they're not saying because i know that this time frame for our time frame alone it's good for me to actually say I can get something from the market look at this a nice breakout and then retest and then it goes that that one was obvious obvious breakout and then obviously it break it did break out and then retested fast fast and then it had to do what it had to go up that's how simple it is now for those maybe who are always interested in selling um boom is what you can also try to look out for maybe quick quick uh scalp but it wasn't scalping though this is for our time frame for our time frame sometimes if you find this one i would have not uh, myself i would have not taken it why because the market when it reached the trend line it had stopped or reduced the speed it, at which it was moving at so this one Let's just skip it for now. Aha. Look at this. Touch here. One, two. And then another touch there. If you are selling, you sell it right there. And then the market sometimes is one to three trades with you. Then it goes. And then it goes. And then probably would also want to look at the skips right there. Look at the skip, guys. That, that this is what's crazy. This was a very big, 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 big gap. So obviously, we anticipated that the market is going to cover up this gap when it goes down. So it happens that the market, when it tried to, to go down there, 
can always go as many trend lines as we can as long as the market favors us see the market test all the, the trend line how many times one two and then a an obvious breakout and then you def maybe place yourself right there and then what happens the market do you a favor and then it goes down to cover up that gap now not having forgot to look at this two candlestick chart there very important stuff very important stuff guys very important stuff very very important stuff two candlesticks right there when when the market broke out of the trend line it broke out and then this candlestick also broke out of the level that it was after this candlestick closes because this is for our time frame after this mm. candlestick closes that's when you place your sell trades and then what happens that the market might consolidate or might try to reverse with you but obviously once you have acquired the right skill which i'm giving right to you right now you definitely know that the market has to do what has to go down and clear off this gap so i guess guys with all that i've gave to you in this video will be enough to actually revive and improve your trading because i'm just doing this because i love you guys and i want to see growth from you and uh, please do know that we also offer different services within our company that is iconic scalping specialist iconic scalping specialist we offer mentorship that is going to be starting in january 2024 we offer funds for deriv fresh forex and xness please do make sure that if you want payment agent you talk to us so that we can help you to deposit into any of those brokers and for those guys who want to keep on learning please continue following this channel make sure you drop a like share and comment on this video so that others can also keep on learning because the moment you share you also uh support us so that we can keep on adding more videos adding more content so that you guys can also grow with us the more we grow the more you grow as well so let's do this guys don't forget to drop that like don't forget to drop it it's gonna be very important guys it's gonna be very important wait for part two of the strategy guys what i'm gonna be talking about break of structure what i'm gonna be talking about other blocks and all that part two is coming and it's gonna be very interesting more than part one peace out guys i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out i am out guys thank you for the love